Music's a powerful thing. The song could change your mood, make a memory. One song could change your whole life. Walking around downtown, right through the crowd, and it's all right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, help me. Oh, hey, George, you okay? Jimmy, thank you, man. It's really a mess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the wind's been, uh, the wind's been acting up today. <laughs> Gotta be careful out here. Well, I, I will. Um, you want a journal today? Gotta keep up with the times. Of course. Here you go. Thank you. All right, take care. Have a good day. Thank you. A possibility. Yeah. And it's a great day to be alive. We try to and touch the skies. And it's alright. Yeah, it's okay. And I'm a wealthy man and I got no stress. I got a beautiful wife and she's the best and nothing's gonna bring me down today. Today. Oh Danny boy, I hate to rain in the parade, but the pipes are calling. The opening tin and the toilets are clogged again. Who did it this time? This time it was me. But I gotta take out the trash and wipe down the tables and do some other stuff, so you don't mind, right? No, no. I'll take care of it. Thanks, buddy. Sorry, it's not more, but when things pick up, you know. Don't worry about it. Uh, Danny, I know you don't normally work on the weekend, and I hate to ask you, but I'm short-staffed. What time do you need me? Come in a little later, like uh, 11. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Danny. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. OK. See you tomorrow? Yeah, have a good night. More months, man. How you gonna drop hard earned cash on a pile of used crap? What would you spend it on? Nick's tickets. Been saving up. Going course side, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, much better. <laughs> yeah, it is. And what do you do when the game's over? What do you mean? I go home. Dude, that pile of used crap in there could be used to record something that could last forever. I mean, that people could listen to for years after you're long gone. Who wants crap to last forever? <laughs> Whatever. No, really, that's a good question. Music school? You have got to be kidding me. May I take your order? Yes, she'll have the chicken Caesar salad, no croutons, and we will share the chicken parmesan. Did you get that? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. She'll have the, um... Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Yes, she will have the chicken Caesar salad without croutons, and he and I will share the chicken parmesan. Got it? Uh, super salad. Excuse me? Uh, the chicken parmesan, it comes with either super salad. What kind of soups? Chicken noodle. That'll do. It's <laughs> a lot of chicken and a round of waters. Uh, sure. Be right back with your order, man. Can't even take an order. Yeah. See, now that's the reason you have to get a good education.
Dude, what are you doing? If Tony sees me, he's gonna kill you. Relax, brother. I only took a couple. Besides, Tony's gonna be working for me one day. Oh, really? Damn right. I'm gonna own this place and call it Rogers. How was it? Fine. I'll we'll take the check. Sure. I'll be right back with that. Excuse me. You forgot this. Ariana. Ariana. <laughs> You've got this real smooth, Danny boy. <laughs> You've got to say a word to me. There's at least five, maybe ten, hot chicks walking this place every day, and you stuck on one. It's not the same, man. She's different. Yeah. She ain't calling. Look, maybe she's giving him time, all right? I mean, isn't there like some sort of rule or something? Like you can't call the guy for a certain amount of time after getting his number? Yeah, but that's the two day rule. Two days? Well, although that's common, some chicks do follow a three day rule. I think it depends on their menstrual cycle or something. Why? How long has it been again? About two weeks. What? You telling me it's been two weeks since you saw this chick? Okay, look. I'm with you on the whole haven't gotten any in a while. Getting really desperate thing, really. I am. But dude, it is time to move on. Dude, do you always eat like that? Like what? Hi there. Back again? So, why didn't you call? No, no. You can tell me. I won't say anything. You're not interested, right? And then on the slight off chance that you are interested, I mean, two weeks. It's kind of abusing the two-day rule, don't you think? Even if it is a menstrual thing. <laughs> He's in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go get him. Dude, she's here. Oh, yes. Yes, she's here. But, Danny, Take I got to tell you something. No, Danny, wait. Hi. Back for some more great food? <laughs> then, um, then why are you back? You never called. <laughs> why not? Oh. <laughs> One of my mom's friends was deaf. All I know is my name. So, do you think I could get your email?
damn dude, you have got to get you a maid. <laughs> or a girlfriend. Movies it is. What about a hearing? I read lips when I can, and when I can't, I enjoy the visual. It's no different from my normal life. So did you like it? You know, if you can talk, I'm sure I'll be able to understand. You know what? Are you hungry? <laughs> Come on. So, tell me more about yourself. I really don't know anything yet. Yeah. Spaghetti and meatballs, that's my favorite too. Wait, you've never driven a car before? We're gonna have to work on that. Music, but, but how? I'm sorry about your dad. Oh, there's more? <laughs> You're cute, too. So how do you, you know, like, talk to other people? You know, like your family? But then how do you say what you want to say? What about, like, sign language? So you don't know any? than you learned as an adult. Well, I think it's really cute when you do that. <laughs> hey, can I show you something? Come on. This is why I work here. Play it every day and night. No. No, but I do want my songs to be famous. Yeah. Yeah, I, I taught myself how to play when I was 12. And as soon as I learned the basics, I just started writing my own stuff. I'm saving up to make a demo, but I haven't been able to write much lately. No, come on, it's okay. Watch. Now you do that part and I'll do the right hand part. Ready? One, two.
you think? I know, but it was fun, right? So, how'd she lose her hearing? Oh, meningitis, actually. Got it from her dad. Couldn't afford the right treatment and ended up dying right in front of her when she was five. Kind of crazy. Reminded me of my mom's passing, you know? I'd never wish that on anybody. Wow. You guys really got to know each other. <laughs> you have no idea. Really? She stayed all night? What? No. Wow, you didn't even let her stay. You just did your thing and told her to bounce. Dude, I didn't sleep with her. Then what did you do with it? I don't know. We laughed, ate, talked. Whoa, you're kidding me, right? I mean, how'd you even do that? Do what? Talk. <laughs> it was interesting. I'm going to need to learn sign language. Sign language? Yeah, but we have so much in common. Do you know that she even liked music when she was a kid? Danny, I know you like this girl. Don't you think you're getting just a little too attached too soon? I mean, have you even thought about how hard it's going to be to communicate on a full-time basis? I told you, man. I'm going to learn sign language. I'm just saying, there's going to be things you're not going to be able to say to each other, even with sign language. And then you got a friends. And you know when you date a girl, you also date a friends, right? Right. Believe me, Diane's friends are always up my ass. Right, you're rambling. Hey, all I'm saying is that there's a lot to think about here. So, just do that. Think about it. Look, man, I'm not going to miss out on something that could be great just because it might also be hard. You look gorgeous. So do you. So, what looks good? This halibut sounds terrific. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, she says... Spaghetti and meatballs? Come on, honey, this is a fancy restaurant. No, 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 that's, that's great. So, how is it that you can afford this place? Excuse me? No, I just, I know that that's a question that her mother would ask. Uh, lots of hard work. Doing what? Waiting tables. Oh, boy. Her mother is not going to like that. You know, maybe you could just, I don't know, interpret for now? You know, until I'm ready to meet the whole family. I doubt that'll happen. Do you not like wine? She's never drank before, fool. Not even wine. Her mother's gonna love this. <laughs> she likes the wine. Oh, you are just on a roll with the Scott family, aren't you? De-virginizing their young daughter to the evils of alcohol? Check. She's 21 years old. And? And she's never had a drink before. Not even for her 21st birthday. She's never had sex before either. You're going to take that from her too? Virginity thief. Check. Hey, come on. Don't you think you're keeping some tight reins? Hey, do you want to go out without? <laughs> That's a big check. I don't think so. You know that your mother would not approve Come on. She's old enough to make her own decisions. You ready? Hey, boy. What's up? Welcome to your official 21st birthday party. 
Hey everybody, it's Ariana's 21st birthday. Is it really your 21st birthday? Hey, it is now. Later, guys. <laughs> you are drunk. Hey, what's the matter? You all right? Let's get you home. My place is tiny. And messy. You sure? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, come on. You can do better than that. The whole thing. <sighs> okay. Uh, why are you changing the these? I think it's time for bed. Good night. Morning sunshine. It's for you. Congratulations, your first hangover. The only sign of a truly successful 21st birthday. Never felt this way before. Something's going Wait a on inside of me. Until our lips touched Now I know it's love oh, oh, oh. The first
Right, let's find an answer to the age-old philosophical question of if a tree falls in the woods and no one is there to hear it, <laughs> does it make a sound? Thoughts, anyone? <laughs> oh, come on, people. Mr. Walker. <laughs> Look, obviously it made a sound. Yeah, how do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? It fell, so it made a sound but no one was there to hear it. So if I fart and no one else is around to hear it, <laughs> didn't make a sound? Well, you were there to hear it, and you were there to smell it. <laughs> In the back there? You know, it depends on the meaning of the word sound. Is it mental or physical? If we define it as purely physical, then it means a pattern of vibrations in the air. But sound could also be mental. In that case, it wouldn't be defined as vibrations, but how our mind interprets the things we hear. So if you think that sound is physical, then yes, it made a sound. But if to you sound is mental, then it didn't. Very good, Miss Scott. You see, not so obvious, is it? Either way, she wouldn't hear it. <laughs> How the heck could she hear that? Looks like we're in two classes together. I'm Nicole. You were really great in there. You can't listen to Mitch. He's always a jerk. <laughs> but I have a feeling he won't be talking much in that class anymore. <laughs> Get back in there. <laughs> oh, it's 
It's my mom. She passed away four years ago. You know, every day at work, I hear people complain about the silliest things. I was there with her through everything. All five years that she fought the cancer. Never heard her complain once, but I did. Every day she'd wake up and say, it's a great day to be alive. And I remember I just looked at her and thought, there must be a heaven, because I just saw it in her smile. She was always there for me. Still is. It's from her favorite sweater. Whenever I need her, I just rub it and she gives me strength. Did your dad write it too? anyway. You loved your dad very much, didn't you? <laughs> Sam, your dad called you that? It's cute, I like it. Do you like Sam better? I think you're beautiful, Sam. I lost my inspiration when you walked in, pad and pen, writing the story to our lives. And now I write all these songs that come to me like atom bombs, exploding the to my life So don't wait too long Let the music take hold Just let it go It lives inside you It's not a moment too late Just a moment too strong To hold back any longer Sorry, Tony. I, I didn't know you were there. You right, Dad? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was just messing around. How'd you like to have a little concert? You know, something small right here in the cafe. You play some of your songs, invite some of your friends. Really? I mean, are you sure? Let's give it a shot. This music thing, it could be good for business. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Night, Kenny boy. Good night. And, and thanks.
So, what are you and Danny gonna do this summer? What? What's going on? Hang on, you're not even packed yet. When are they coming to pick you up? <laughs> Two weeks? Are you crazy? What if your mom finds <laughs> out? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. It was my mom's. No, it's okay. <laughs> Do you like it? You like it? Hey, what's the matter? Can't worry about her. It's really not my place to be saying anything, even now. I just thought that since it was getting so serious. Serious? What do you mean by that? Well, they're completely in love. They talk to each other only in sign language now. She's using sign language with him. You know, is that so bad? Interview with who? <laughs> Why would you want an internship with an accounting firm? And that's great for certain people, but I've known you long enough to know that that's not what you want to do. Really? It's your whole life, you grew up dreaming about crunching numbers. Well, what then? You know, when you were a kid, what was the one thing that you dreamt about every night when you went to sleep? See, I knew it. Now, what happened? Why aren't you playing a concert for a big audience? Oh, come on, hold on a second. That, that doesn't mean that you can't still play. I mean, look at Beethoven. You can do whatever you want to do. What's wrong with the way that I live? No, oh, go ahead. Tell me. You know what I think? I think you're scared. No, you are. You're scared. Not of your mother or, or Marianne or anyone else. You're scared of yourself. You're scared to be yourself. Life's too short to waste time living for someone else, Sam. Hey, come on. Come on.
Hey, Greg, do you know if uh, Ariana's in her dorm room? I haven't seen her. Let me check. Looks like she uh, left last night, moved out for the summer. Uh, wait, are you sure? She signed out at 11.27 p.m. All right, thanks, Greg. Hey, you have a great summer, Danny. Yeah, you too. That's the last time you hide something from me. You will not see him, speak to him, or even think about him ever again. I didn't spend all this time and effort raising you so you could run off with some deadbeat waiter. No! You're not getting this back until you go back to school next fall. Put this where she can't find it. Hide something from me again and you find another job. Something I said that made you believe I wouldn't give you your time away from me. Was it something I did or something you needed that made you decide it was time to leave? So I guess that one night is all we'll have left of this whole life. Get rid of it, that I wish like that the others. So I guess this is the last thing I'll say to you. My heart belongs to you. Take it and run away before the sun comes up and shines on your face. I want to run with you into the shine. Take you away. I read the email. You know, sometimes I forget what it was like for me growing up. I don't think we did your 21st birthday right. I'd like another chance. Shall we go dress shopping? I don't know what's going on. She's not responding to any of my messages. What, you mean she signed on? Yeah, don't, don't you see her? Here, hang on, let me try and call her house. So you know where she lives? Yeah, I wouldn't go doing anything like... Look, Nicole... Well, I'm worried, okay? I haven't seen or heard from her in over a month. I'm not gonna lose her. Please. Ariana's not here. I'm looking for Sam. She's not here either. Still on vacation? She doesn't want to see you. Let her tell me that. 
Do you not want to see me? I don't understand. Security, time for you to leave, sir. No, I'm not going anywhere until she tells me to. Get that man out of my home. Come on, no, come on. Sam, Sam, come on. Come meet the Richardsons. This is Hank, David's friend from work. And this is Tyler, his gorgeous and successful son. <laughs> Miss Scott, you're too much. Um, it's a pleasure meeting you. Ariana, why don't you take Tyler and show him around upstairs while I make coffee for Hank and me? what happened, Miss Scott. I guess she just needed some time alone. I'm so sorry, Tyler. Sometimes it takes a while for her to warm up to people with her condition, but I'm sure she'll come <laughs> Not a problem, Miss Scott. I'm sure she will. Such a gentleman. Thanks again. Don't you ever embarrass me like that again. You gotta let it go, B. Sometimes you care about someone and for whatever reason they don't feel the same way. And there's nothing you can do. You might not want to hear this, but there's a lot of girls out there you can fall in love with. The right one will come along, but you can't force it. Looking up at the stars, looking down on me. Look, everything inside me tells me she is the right one. Hey, she isn't the right one, and she doesn't appreciate me. What is up? Come on now. Who's the one that told me there's always some good that can come out of everything? Yeah, well, sometimes it's harder to see that. What happened to the life that I want to lead? Just think about all the great music you got to write. No better inspiration than love. Him. Somewhere in between the 
pain, the hurt, and everything. I lost the one thing that meant everything, and now I'm left here without anything. I just want things back to the way they used to be. It's the only thing still worth fighting for. And I don't know, it might be a waste of time, but do you think you could ask Sam to come? It'd really mean a lot if she was there. She'll be there. We used to live before we die. We used to laugh when everyone told us how to live our lives. You used to fall into my arms and now tears fall from your eyes. When it was good, it was great. When it was bad, we made mistakes. There's only so much I can take. I don't want to leave it up to fate. Now there's my heart laid in your hands. If you want to give it back, you can. Before you break it, understand that I want to be your song. Where in between the pain, the hurt, and everything, I lost the one thing that meant everything. And now I'm left here without anything. I just want things back. To the way they used to be It's the only thing still worth fighting for It was for your own protection. Now don't get irrational. You can't end up with someone like that. You'll thank me later. You were supposed to get rid of them. I didn't think she'd fix it. Um, Mrs. Scott, Ariana and I were wondering if maybe we could walk around some of the stores on Greenwich Avenue before the movie. Seems to come to mind when you wish you had got it right. All you seem to do is cry. Hello. Chairs. Chairs. More chairs downstairs. And the worst oh God, it's great. A fine line between hope and faith, and it starts with understanding.
really, really good. Thanks. I appreciate you coming. You know, Sam really wanted to be here. She tried her best, too. We even got to the train station. No, you know, I'm just, I'm a little sick of hearing that. She's old enough to make her own decisions. If she wanted to be here, she would have been. Danny, Danny. I'll take care of it. Danny boy. Hey, Tony. Anytime you want to have a concert like that again, you just tell me. We nearly did triple our business last night. Really? Oh, well, you got chops, kid. Fine line. Have an order of chicken wings, please, to start, and a round of water. I'm so sorry, sir. Well, the service here is great. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? Is everything, ah! is, everything is fine. She's just acting up. She's normally a very sweet girl. Ah! Get in the car. Get in the car! Oh, yeah, damn it! the moms, bro. I'm telling you, she's doing all of this. I saw Sam smack the hell out of her moms a second ago. We all did. Sam's a mess. She went running off after you. She still loves you, man. Man, what happened to I gotta let her go? There's a whole bunch of girls that you can fall in love with and all that crap you told Forget me. what I said, okay? I was wrong. It could be her, bro. Sam could be the one. Look, you got something most of us could only dream about. You can't let that get away. She went running off that way. She's probably headed towards your apartment. Should I? Go, run. I'll cover your ship. <laughs> Don't let her get away. They said it would permanently damage your ears. My ears are ruined. How dare you make that decision without telling me? It's not your decision to make, it's mine. It's my life, Mom. And I want to hear. All you ever wanted to do was control me. That's why you never learned sign language. That's why I needed this stupid interpreter. And that's why you never told me about this surgery. You don't want me to hear again. You don't want to lose your control. Why you just lost it? I don't need an interpreter anymore. And I don't need you anymore. <laughs> 
Oh, you need me more than ever. Who's gonna support you? Your loser boyfriend? Who's gonna pay for your college? I'm not going back to college. I'm going to study music. <sighs> You've always been a dreamer, just like your father. That's right. Because dreams come true, Mom, if you fight for them. Dad knew that. Despite all you did to stop me, I'm in love. And I'm going to hear again. And I'm going to play music just like Dad. And there is nothing you can do to stop me anymore. Where the hell are you going? Correct a mistake I made a long time ago. You know, she's 21 years old. Loosen the reins a little. Get in that car and you're fired. I quit. Mary Ann, get back here. That's my daughter. She doesn't even know how to drive. Want a beer? You buy a paper every day, don't you? Yeah. And you throw it out every night? Yep. Ever read it? Nope. Then why do you buy it? I like the guy who sells them. You like the guy who sells them? Yeah, George. Hmm? He could be out there begging for change, but he's not. He's selling papers. And no one supports him. I mean, no one wants to buy a paper from a guy that looks the way he does. They'd rather get it from a store or a newsstand or one of those dispensers or something. But at the end of the day, it's the same paper. Same paper, huh? Got a sports section? I don't think so. Entertainment? I don't know. Well, I'll put it to use. <laughs> hey, man, give it a courtesy flush this time. Yeah, yeah. No, no, seriously, dude. Hey, the mark is down 300 points. It's like my turn in the crafting. <laughs> Good to see you up, man. Danny, I'm Dr. Frazier. Your seizure was due to the spreading of an advanced stage of glioblastoma and multiforma, a primary brain tumor. This type of cancer is very difficult to treat, especially when deeply rooted. Now, chemo and radiation treatments can improve health for a number of months, but unfortunately, this cancer seems to relapse in almost all cases. There's an off-label drug on the market. It hasn't passed FDA approval. It isn't supported by insurance company policies. It's very expensive, but it might buy so much time. It depends. At this stage, it could be several months or days.
Time for your next session. I'm done. Not yet, Mr. Foster. Chemo can take several sessions. I'm done. You know, when I was 10, my mom, she brought home a nest of duck eggs she found under this bridge. I looked after them for a while, but, but she wouldn't let me keep them. I remember the day we let them go. I, I was pretty upset. But you know, it, it ended up being the most amazing part. You see, they didn't need me anymore. As soon as they spread their wings, they were free. They owned the sky. The very next year, I saw a group of young ducks under the bridge. They came back. Every year. There's just two left now. Okay, Danny, now it's our turn to guess what the girls would say. Girls, what's one thing you could always use more of? Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Babe. Shoes. Know your expensive yes, taste. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's your turn. Great books. Love. What? Love. Danny, that's not how you play the game, man. What do you mean? It's supposed to be something like shoes or books or your favorite food, something fun. But love's better than all that. It's not the point, man. It's supposed to be fun. Come you on, we're having fun. That's our point. Put a smile on your face. All right. Next question. I'll get to see her again. Luckiest guy in the world. I mean, 
how many people can say that they've truly been in love, that they met the love of their lives. I want you to promise me something, Sam. Promise me that whatever happens, you'll see yourself before anyone. with the surgery. Wait for what? I want to be there. I want to, I want to be there when you hear the world again for the first time. I want to hear your beautiful voice. You can hear it now. Go grab something to eat. Now. Need anything from your place? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a shoebox under my bed. Do you think you could grab it? Of course. Thanks. going tomorrow. You're going to be great. Will the nurse be coming in? No. Roger. Now the surgery will take several hours, then you'll be here in recovery overnight. We found that for patients like yourself who've been here for several years, it's generally easier to learn to associate the signals provided by the implant with the sounds that you remember. few hours, okay? There's just something I gotta do. 
Are you crazy? You just, you just can't. Mm -hmm. Right. Please. I can't believe we're doing this. <coughs> I'll meet you there, okay? What do you mean? I just want to take a little walk first. A walk? Yeah, you know, get some fresh air. It's 15 degrees out. I'll be fine. I'll see you at the cafe, okay? Fresh air. A couple more months, man. How are you gonna drop hard-earned cash on a pile of used crap? What would you spend on? Nick's tickets. Been saving up. Danny? Is that you? Yeah, George, how you been? Well, better than you. You look like hell. What you got on? Have you lost weight? Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I've, I've been a little sick. You shouldn't be out here in the cold. You might catch something. It's beautiful out. Great day to be alive. So, uh, how's business been? Well, you know, slow. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, George, I'm not gonna be around for a while. Really? You gotta take a nice trip with that lady friend. She's a looker, I tell you. No, no. Uh, she'll be staying here. Oh, that's too bad. Now, listen, I was, uh, I was thinking I could catch up on some reading, you know? Stock up on some journals. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you gotta keep up with the times. <laughs> How many do you want? I don't know. I was thinking, uh, 500? <laughs> I was getting worried about you. Good friend, Rod. such a good idea after all. Oh, 
It was beautiful. <laughs> Sam, she be getting out of recovery soon, so um, you should get to see her. What do you mean, though? I look like crap. Man, you know she doesn't care about that. Besides, you don't look that bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you do sound like hell, bro. You know, I never had a brother. I love you, man. I love you too, bro. You gotta stop clogging to us. <laughs> <laughs> you do me a favor. Check and see for me. Yeah. Okay. Oof. That's love. What? The answer. In the game. Can you tell me when Ariana Scott is due to get out of recovery? And you are? A friend. One thing we could always use more of. Excuse me? Nothing. I ended up dying right in front of her when she was five. Reminded me of my mom's passing, you know? I never wish that on anybody. This Scott oh, is due God. out any minute now, sir! If you asked him, Danny would say he lived a rich life. If you saw his apartment or where he worked, you'd have a hard time agreeing with that. But if you met him, there'd be no question. He was only 24. Danny lived more than most do in a lifetime. Don't worry. I'll be covering your shift, brother. We 
are gathered here to say farewell to Dan, to commit his soul to the hands of God and his body to the Same goes for us. Call any time. Thanks. I need a moment. Okay. It still feels weird to hear you and myself. I don't even know if I like it. It'll take time. You know, for Danny with you, it was love at first sight. When he would talk to me about you, I tried to warn him. I told him how difficult it would be. But it was unrealistic. I basically told him not to do it. You know what he told me? He said he wasn't going to miss out on something great just because it might also be hard. <laughs> if he would have listened to me, he would have missed out on the greatest thing in his life. <laughs> There's one more thing. It's from Danny. What is it? Love. Take care, Sam.
Hey, baby. I'm so happy for you. It's the first day of your brand new life. But don't take life's blessings for granted the way most people do. Go outside and hear the world. It's a beautiful place, and it's got a lot to say. Now you can hear it all. Live a full life, Sam. The life you choose. It might seem like I'm gone. I'm not. I'm just staying with my mom for a while. But I'll be there whenever you need me. So love with all your heart. Because where there's love, you'll find me. Where there's love, you'll hear my songs. All you have to do is listen. I love you, Sam. Always. Love, Danny. Music's a powerful thing. One song can change your mood, make a memory. One song can change your whole life. <laughs> 